Now for our second exercise, I'm going to get more into that low impact aerobics I think you're back. Well, those were some great tips during pregnancy, but here's a question about how weight affects you before you get pregnant. My health history has been a little bit confusing. After two years ago, I got diagnosed with PCOS. My hormones are extremely unbalanced. I miss periods for two months, then I'm regular, then I don't ovulate, then I ovulate. My weight has just skyrocketed. I gained 50 pounds. I've had two miscarriages with PCOS. I'm afraid that I'm going to have fertility problems. Going through two miscarriages took a toll. It took a toll on my life. Um, on the relationship, you know, it took a toll on just different circumstances, on everything. I'm just pretty much scared, confused about this, and where to go because eventually I do want a family. And it scares me that I don't be able to. That was Chloe, and she's on the phone with us today. Well, Chloe, what do you know about polycystic ovarian syndrome? I know very little of it. Basically what polycystic ovarian syndrome is is where you have cystic ovaries and basically what happens is those ovaries will put out different hormones. They'll put out androgens which are responsible for the acne and the facial hair but the pituitary will really be responsible for putting out irregular imbalances of LH and FSH hormones, luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone which affect the ovaries. This also affects the periods, and that's why the periods become irregular. So you will have an irregularly high LH-FSH ratio, which causes you to not ovulate. And that's one of the number one reasons that you have difficulties getting pregnant when you have PCOS. So being a little bit overweight, what happens is that insulin resistance causes the androgens to go up even higher. Those are those male-like hormones in a woman's body. So again, you're going to get more of the acne, more of the male pattern hair, and it's also going to inhibit you from getting pregnant. But there's hope. There's lots and lots of hope. So what you can do, one, weight loss is huge with that insulin resistance. That's why one of the treatments actually in PCOS is um, medication that is what a lot of diabetics take to help with their insulin. So you can take that, but actually just losing weight, if you're overweight, can really be huge in PCOS. Chloe, hi, this is Jillian. I'm really on stage right now in this segment just to tell you that this is something I went through as a kid. Um, it's something that many different women I have worked with have struggled with, and diet and exercise will have a dramatic impact on how this PCOS affects you. Do not feel like this is any sort of life-threatening sentence in that you won't be able to have babies, your fertility is doomed. It is within your control. It's just going to require some commitment and a little bit of information and education on diet and weight loss. Thanks so much, Glory. Okay, thank you. And I think we should go off script really quickly because today's show is six ways to weigh less starting right now. I think I should add a seventh, and that is search your friend's pockets. <laughs>